So in-flight trimming works a little bit different for a couple reasons. Number one, you have a heading hold function, and if you have that turned on, that heading hold occurs right around center. Number two, you're going to be switching from one flight mode to another, and each of those flight modes may have different dual rate settings. So the way that the trimmer function is set up, when you make trim adjustments, do it like you normally do, utilizing your trimmers on your transmitter, you know, your aileron, elevator, and rudder trimmer, for example. Um, however, it's important after you make that trim to let the airplane um, go hands-free on that particular control surface for two seconds. If you let it go hands-free for two seconds, then the model learns that new trim setting and it recenters your, um, your heading hold and it also recenters everything so that when you switch from one flight mode that may be a low rate to a, high, a flight rate that has a high flight mode that you won't see any trim change. So when you make trim settings, it's a, it's a good idea to um, you know, stay off of that stick with that trim setting for about two seconds. Now how important is this? It's really not that big of a deal. Um, you know, if you don't wait two seconds, your heading hold is going to be off a little bit. Um, or, you know, when you switch from one flight mode to another, you're going to notice that the trim's off, but you'll simply trim it in that flight mode, and then at some point, you'll end up releasing the stick, and the trim will uh, take care of itself at some point. You know, you're going to land at some point anyway, and it's going to relearn those trims. So the trims are relearned after two seconds of releasing the stick after the trim is input. Now, one thing that's really important, um, it's, it's ideal, and in fact, we've all known this as modelers for years, it's really best practices to not have to have a lot of trim in the model. And it's even more so with an AS3X system. So ideally, go up and fly the model airplane, land, and then you know if you have trim in the various control services, right aileron, left aileron, elevator, whatever, it's best if you'll go through and actually make mechanical adjustments such that you can recenter your trims, and then you won't you won't have issues you know with the with the trim offsets. So that's how trims work.